Hi! I'm super excited to share that my body pillow is now available for purchase! I made the designs myself, which you'll also be seeing in the background of this video. I will talk a little bit about my journey with the designs and making them, but first I want to <laughs> kind of um, advertise the cover a little bit. So when you go onto the Anime Takimakura pillow site, you can find my design in the artist corner, or you can just click the link that'll be in the description. You have to note that this is only the case and you will need a pillow to fiddle with. Uh, you can get two of the most popular Daki dimensions, which is 50 by 150 centimeters or 50 by 160 centimeters. The one that I have is 50 by 150 since I googled a bunch of designs and most of them seem to always have this option. I, and I mean like, when you go into a site and you pick a design you want, 150 by 50 is always, always, always there. On the side, you can pick from four fabrics, which you have peat skin, Japanese textile, natural velvet, and two-way tricot. You can see the details of the fabrics on the site with uh, ratings and like descriptions and everything else. Uh, I'm also pretty sure that you can order like a little test sheet thing with all the materials on it so you can feel them yourself. And as for the pillow for the inside, you can get it pretty much anywhere. Just make sure that you read about the quality and the softness of the pillow because I think that the firmer ones are more expensive but personally I feel like it's super super worth it and it's what I prefer. So that the pillow doesn't just completely squish beneath me when I try to hug it. You ever had like um, a giant plushie or like a giant teddy bear? They're really soft but you can also sleep on them and they won't like lose their shape or like cave beneath you. And that is kind of what I'm on about. <laughs> Well, yeah, if you want my body pillow, you can find the link in the description. Both of the designs are of my bunny girl, OC, with her two different outfits you might have seen on my streams, especially my VR chat streams, and I've also been using them as VTuber avatars, so I'm sure you've seen them before. <laughs> so let's talk about the art. So, the body pillow itself was something that I've wanted to do for a while, but I didn't just want to do it out of nowhere for no reason. So I kind of, um, made my community work for it. <laughs> it was a sub- oh, wait, it wasn't a sub- wait, was it a subathon? No, it wasn't a subathon reward. It was just a sub reward. I just had it as a little goal at the top of my stream. Uh, it was meant to be for 700 subscribers on Twitch. So what about Twitch is that you get different emote slots and you get more emote slots by the amount of subs that you have. And 700 was where I would be getting a new one. So I thought, well, if you guys get me a new emote slot, I will create a body pillow for you. So once the goal was reached, I quickly went and drew the first one. And you'll never guess, but the art itself took me like 20 hours because <laughs> I put loads and loads and loads of detail and love and care and I really, really wanted it to be my best work. It also took a very long time because I pretty much streamed the entire process. So I was always like chatting with the chat or like thanking them for subs and follows and getting into weird conversations with them which would always drag my attention away. You know, streaming is a little different than just working on art on your own because on your own, sure, you can work and work and work and not stop and blah 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 but when you're streaming, you kind of like want to have a conversation with everyone and you want to give them your time instead of just being head down and focusing on the art. You want to like, like, I feel like I want to interact more than draw. <laughs> or like whenever I'm playing a game, I just want to interact with you guys more than play the game. I don't know. I I'm just the kind of streamer that wants to talk to everyone. <laughs> so about the second side, 
Um, it took me months. After I finished the first side of the body pillow, uh, I just somehow managed to not find the time for the other side. I had loads of other projects. I was working on animation memes, which you know they take forever, and like Patreon work and commissions and that kind of stuff. So that always took all my time. And I also have uni to work on, so that took a lot of my time as well. And during the pandemic, like, managing your time and, like, even getting out of bed has been super hard, so... I just didn't manage to get to the other side of the body pillow for, like, I'm guessing here, but it definitely feels like it was, like, two months until I actually finished the second side. So, by the time I actually had the time to work on it, I had a different version of my OC. So, you know, I have two OCs. I have this cat girl that I use on this channel and the bunny girl that I use pretty much everywhere else. Um, so, I don't like the fact where OCs are only allowed to have one outfit. You know, I like to put my OCs in loads of different outfits because, like, their characters, I know that cartoon characters just wear the same thing every time, but um, in anime, it's a little different. In anime, you'll see characters wearing lots of different outfits, so I gave her a completely different new look. I bought the model from a website called Booth, and I just really, really, really love this model. It's very cute, and I was like, you know what? I kind of feel like making the other side of the body pillow this this model, this this. Oh, see, there's a version, right? So I was like, hmm, I said that I would do the cat girl, but I kind of want to do this one. So I made a Twitter poll, and it looks like everyone chose the bunny. <laughs> I'm so sorry, cat lovers, but the bunny won the poll. Maybe one day I'll make another body pillow that'll include the cat girl too, and it'll just be both sides of cat girl. Hmm. That would be cute. Maybe maybe two different outfits. Maybe this outfit that I'm wearing right now and my old outfit that I started off this channel with. That would be cute. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> like this video if you want to see a cat girl body pillow. Or let me know in the comments. The, but the bunny is kind of my main OC now. So I, <laughs> I know that I said that I want to use a cat girl on this channel. But... Like, even animation memes, I kind of just want to make them the bunny girl because when I make an animation meme, I always feel like some of the animations from animation memes, I can, like, turn into GIFs and make them, like, alerts for my stream. Like, when someone follows and a little GIF pops up, I feel like it's a little bit more useful if I use the OC that I actually use on my stream. Since I guess the stream has more of my attention than the YouTube. Although I do work really hard on the YouTube, the stream is just what I'm more passionate about. And who knows, maybe one day I'll fully switch to the bunny. <laughs> uh, I kind of, I don't know, I don't want to forget this character. She's really adorable and she's been through a lot with me. So I really don't want to forget the, the angry, evil, yandere, stabby cat girl. Because the bunny is a little bit more innocent. She she doesn't have any murderous intent. No stabby stabby. She's just wholesome and levy and she goes peon. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should make a video with all of my OCs in it. Oh, oh you should let me know if you want to see that. Like, explaining the backstories and stuff. That might be cool. Or like, showcasing all my old OCs that I don't use anymore, that might be cool too. Ooh, ooh, I'm just getting ideas. Please let me know, that would be interesting. All right, but I feel like that is enough rambling from me. <gasps> oh. <laughs> uh, I don't really write scripts for these videos, so it's a little bit weird for me to talk for 10 minutes, but I'm glad that I made it, kind of, uh, but yeah. If you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Patreon. I have a merch store too. I don't know. Just do whatever you want. Although a follow on Twitch would be appreciated since that is where you'll see me more often. And you even get to talk to me and interact with me and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Bye-bye.